few Class A teams have had Herb King and Rockville's number like Fountain Central. Talk about having a target on your back. The Mustangs have won seven straight over the Rocks. Rockville tonight was looking for their first win over FC since 2008. The Rocks visited the Mustangs. Fans getting ready to take this game in. Rockville quarterback Brandon Cooper fumbles a snap. Fountain Central recovers. Rockville Ben Cunningham hard-nosed run. Fountain Central He's had a monster he's year. He's had a monster year, and I tell you what, he's been so vital to this team. Fountain Central's quarterback throws an interception nice to beat. Rockville. Defensive back Matt Wake. Rockville getting the ball back on that possession. Here's Ben Cunningham once again, hits a hole and accelerates through to gain major Deceiving yardage. Speed. He's a little Deceiving guy, but can run speed. fast. And next here, it's Keontre Wilkie. He's been great he has all speed. season, <laughs> all season long. And Rockville goes on to lose this one. 21-14. Tough game for Rockville tonight. That game was actually tied 14 all at the half. They fought hard, but FC comes out with the win 21-14. No one in the Wabash Valley wins like Linton football. With a victory tonight, the Miners would get to eight regular season wins. It would mark the sixth time in the last eight years this program has recorded at least eight or more wins during the regular season. They're just a football machine at Linton. Miners playing at North Central tonight, second play of the game. All hell to the king, Austin Hell. The Linton running back averaged more than 21 yards a carry tonight. This one goes for 60 and a score, one of four TDs for Hell. North Central's first pass of the game catches the Miners off guard. Incredible catch by Dylan Howard to put the T-Birds in the red zone. Fourth and goal for North Central. Linton defense tightens up and comes up with a big stop, forcing the T-Birds to turn the ball over on downs. Listen to this. Linton ran wild tonight. When don't they, though? To the tune of 388 yards. Mr. Everhart picking up some yardage. Linton wins 46 to nothing. The Miners improved to 8-1. Again, this marks the sixth time in the last eight years Linton has recorded at least eight or more wins in the regular season. Megan. Vincent's Lincoln suffered their first loss of the season last Saturday at Mount Carmel. Sure, the Alices are disappointed to have a number in their losses column, but one of their big goals is still intact. A win tonight and Vincent's Lincoln would finish no worse than Big 8 co-champs for the first time since 2004. The Alices were at home tonight entertaining Princeton. We'll pick it up in the first year's Princeton. Dylan Deckard looking down the field, lets it fly, and it's picked off by the Alices. Connor Barms in swings the momentum towards Linton. Here's Grant Oxman with the short pitch to Brant Nowowski, who was answered all season long. Tonight was no Star exception. Alert. Star alert. Puts the Alices up 21-0 with that touchdown. And guess who? Brant Nowowski again making it happen here with the rushing TD, extending the lead to 28-0. He'll find a way or he'll make a way, and it's Nowowski again <laughs> making it 35-0 Lincoln. And the Alices go on to beat Princeton 59-28. A win tonight would give North Knox their most regular season victory since 2010. The Warriors were at Washington. Here's Christopher Grayman. Look at that zinger, the beautiful pass to Jace Roderick for the touchdown. A few plays later, North Knox getting it done on the defensive end as well. Here's Caden Fields with the interception for North Knox, and that's going to set up this next drive. And it's Grayman hitting Jordan Muir, who has been the my man, oh, it's your guy, my the man back. all season long. Can I run that in? For the touchdown, North Knox goes on to beat Washington 60 to 13. Quarterback Christopher Grayman threw for 190 yards and four TDs, while running back Jordan Muir rushed for 260 yards Just and two, two six. touchdowns. Just six. Not not <laughs> as many fantasy points as usual, but you know, still there. A win tonight would give Eastern Green their most wins since they started playing football. That's a stat for you. The 5-3 T-Birds were at Tecumseh. Two teams coming in with a 5-3 record tonight, up 7-0 in the second quarter. Tecumseh picks up 7 on this short pass to Spencer Ockley, who cuts outside and sets this up for his team. And he's going to roll, hit, I think it's a touchdown right there. This is Keenan Lautner in the back of the end zone for the 9-yard touchdown. To come see a 14 zip. And Eastern Green would get those points back with a big play from their quarterback. He fakes the handoff and then takes off. We're being off a 79 yard touchdown run. Briar Martindale, kid is a stud in football, pretty good in basketball as well. Tell you what, he must be tired after that one. <laughs> and they would go on to get two on this pass into the end zone. And they would close the gap down 14 to 8. And Tecumseh beats Eastern Green 28 to 14. Time now for our Sports 10 Spirit Award. We start with South Vermillion up in Clinton. I like the pink out there. How about that? 
Vincennes Lincoln, those fans have had a lot to cheer about. Alice's country always going crazy. And the Marshall fans, you know there would be a big crowd over in Illinois tonight. Marshall has one of the best fan bases in the Wabash Valley. How about our Sports 10 smashes of the night? Megan, you saw this hit and went what? Yes, this one hurt. You can hear it. <laughs> Sullivan, and Sheridan, Satter just lowers the boom. Oof. That one had to hurt. Ow. Sullivan's Connor Wright also with a big time hit. Knocks the receiver out of balance there. <laughs> Washington's, <laughs> you like that there? It's like a helicopter. I don't even know what that Washington's was. Washington's Luke Thornton here. They may be winless on the season, but they're not playing football wow. down there in the hatchet country. Look at him. Just knock him to the ground. Casey Westfield's Sheldon Rail gets hit big time there. Rail with, gets knocked down by Marshall. And then Casey Westfield again has another big hit coming up from Colton Brandenburg, as you watch this one, right? Boom. Boom, up, Looks down. like a sack of potato. Pick him up and throw him down. That's a big town. Yeah, that's that happened to me. That happened to it. me when I played football. I was that's, so tiny. Brings back bad memories. Still feel it? Oh, I do. It brings back bad memories. That's why I play basketball. Here's our, uh, <laughs> our uh, Sports 10 Top 5 Fantasy Stars of the Night. Vincent's Lincoln's Taiwan Hawkins, North Knox QB Christopher Grayman, Linton's Austin Hale, was Vigo QB Tyler Hayes threw for four touchdowns, and Timmy Heron, been a regular this year on our top five fantasy stars. He broke the school career touchdown and passing mark with number 35 tonight, 368 total yards and three touchdowns. Congratulations to all those guys. Toughest fantasy stars that we've had this season. That does it for our show tonight. Hope everybody out there has a great weekend.